This video has been made possible by Luxion, the creators of Keyshot. We have to extend it downwards as well. And for that, I'm just gonna go manual, I guess. We could go and do that with a curve as well. Just need to figure out where exactly the nose guard will be. Um, but we can do that. So let's go to create. Let's go to CV curve tool again. Let's go in here. So this is our guy and we're going to be starting, I would say here. And then we're going to go down and we need to be fairly straight. And then as we move down a little bit, and it's not going to be a lot more than that. We can kind of curve in a little, okay? So let's hit enter. And we're going to go back in. And we're going to repeat the steps that we just did. So let's get in here. Let's go and right click at a face. Select this guy. Shift select the curve, not the entire helmet. And I think we got it, although I'm not sure. Let's hit uh, Control E to extrude. Let's give some subdivision. And I thought something was off because the car is off for some reason. So let me just see what's going on there, guys. Let me just quickly fix that. Not sure what happened there. So create, save curve tool, let's start here, that would be about right. Right click, select this, select this. And hit the control E to extrude and subdivision. That should be about right. Now the flow is not perfect. So we need to, well, it's not too bad. It's actually not bad. Okay. So what we're gonna do there is we're gonna go in here. We're gonna select this. We're gonna go to edit delete by type history so if we have a curve in here we can get rid of it without messing up this guy and this is going to be fairly straightforward going down so let's hit three to preview smooth and let's have a look and i think it's uh, kind of cool it's maybe a bit thin um, and we can adjust that a little bit. Just going to go in here and let's just select, I would say, all of this. Not that, not that. And that's messing up my flow, obviously. So might need to do that in a slightly different way, guys. And that way would probably be to hit one to do that. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to work my way up to, I would say here, B for soft select once again quite big area W to kind of bring that in a little bit and we don't really have a lot of playing room here and I kind of seem to mess up that flow so I'm gonna leave it alone for now let's see if we have to revisit that later okay anyway I'm gonna go in here and take this guy and be turn that off and we're gonna go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth it and let's do subdivision level 2 as we did before all right so now that we have that, let's see, we're gonna have a, a guard in the back there, right? So for that, we'll take, uh, let's say a polygon cylinder, we'll hit R, 
we'll flare that out until it kind of matches the end there let's go down let's um, set caps to zero we don't need those I'm gonna go in here get rid of that we don't need the bottom one either get rid of that as well and we don't need the front of the cylinder either so let's see we're gonna go in here and let's get rid of probably all of that right we're gonna take that we're gonna move it up and let's see what our fit is like let's scale this a little that's a good starting point right then we're gonna go in here we're gonna take that bottom edge bring the W we're gonna move that up I would say to about there and then from there what we're gonna do is we're gonna slightly flare that out control E to extrude W to pull down and let me just revisit that actually I'll do it differently I'll just go back a step like this and I'm gonna add edge loops and then flare it out from there so let's see how far we need to go down I would say to about here maybe right then we're gonna go in to injured edge loop let's do five okay and I'll put in five right there Q on the keyboard then we're gonna go in and we're gonna take this guy let's hit R and kind of flare that out like this W pull that back W pull that back uh, let me just check this quickly hit three to preview smooth uh, fairly long so maybe we'll just hit R and kind of bring it in a bit and hit W push it up I think that's just a little bit better okay so now that we have that what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit to control E to extrude let's do 0 0.1 on that which will give us something like this uh, hit one to go back in we need to put edges in the top there to hold that shape so injured edge loop option box single let's go in let's put one in here and that should be good Q on a keyboard let's hit three to preview smooth let's cool let's go to mesh and smooth and actually smooth let's do level two there you have it and then from there what we need to worry about is cheek pieces and a face guard okay so for the cheek pieces um, let's do um, let's see I think the quickest way is just do a plane we'll hit W pull that out we'll hit R to scale that up we don't need all that subdivision so let's go in here set that to uh, one by one for now E to rotate, hold on J, flip it up like so. R to scale it down. W to pull that in and push that in. Push that up. Kind of figure out what we want this to look like and where we want it to be and whatnot. So uh, let's see, let's go in here somewhere. And after frame that. Uh, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to go to Vertex, let's push this down, maybe not that much, let's do this, and then this can go down quite a bit, that can go up a bit, and these two will get them a bit closer here, and just to get a bit more shape to it, I'm going to go to Injured Edge Loop, let's set that to 3, and we'll do three there and three there. Q on a keyboard, so I can now go in to Vertex. The W kind of start to create a little flow here. 
and then here we'll do the same we'll push that up we'll push that up I think that will be all right and then we want that to be curved in multiple directions so what I need to do is bring it in after frame that okay and um, yeah what we're gonna do next is we are going to push it in a bit more to kind of align the one in the middle okay and then we're gonna go in here we're gonna go to edge and I just want the top one and the bottom one and we're gonna slightly curve that in I would say like that and then we'll take this edge and kind of follow that helmet shape like so right that's kind of cool so what we're gonna do next is take this guy control E to extrude and let's do 0 0.1 on the thickness which is kind of cool then we're gonna go in and we're gonna take uh, let's take all these outer faces control E to extrude tweak the offset uh, 0 0.2 would be good right and then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna take this one control E let's do 0 0.1 on the thickness and if we now go in and hit three to preview smooth it will look something like that which is uh, not bad I want to go back just want to reinforce that shape a little bit more so we're gonna go into single put in an edge loop actually let's not put it there let's put it there Q on the keyboard let's hit three yeah much better okay and then we might want to have uh, a couple of uh, decorative um, rivets on there so I'm fairly confident that I can take one of these but I said that before so instead I'll just take a uh, polygon sphere We'll uh, pull that out. We'll hit Control A to open up the Attribute Editor. Go in, set that to eight by eight. Right-click on a face, drag, select, delete that. Make sure it's a clean cut. Looks like it is. Go in, harder skill down. The W, bring that down. Push that in. After frame that. So I'm gonna to wanna to have two of these because it's gonna hold straps. Control D to duplicate. Let's put one right there, I would say. And I'm gonna select both, go to mesh and smooth. Number two, there you go. We're going to want to have straps to hold that up. So for that, what we'll do is we'll take polygon cubes. W, move that out. Come on. What's going on? There, 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 there. Come on, there. Oh my God. There, yeah. Let's pull that out. That's it. R, let's push it in. Kind of make that a leather strap type deal. And when you hit three on this, the sides will become nice and soft, but we're gonna reinforce the tops there. So I think this was still set to one, and it is. So we'll put one here and one here, nothing crazy. Q on the keyboard, let's go and hit three to preview smooth, looks all right. Mesh and smooth. Level two, select this guy, hit one to go back. We're gonna W, we're gonna bring that in here, we're gonna push it down. And depending on what angle you're gonna be using this and where and whatnot, you might wanna put rivets on the inside as well. Uh, we'll just get this thing properly aligned, right? So this is gonna go up a little bit, a bit more to I would say about there. We're gonna focus on the inside of the helmet
that would be about right. So this guy needs to come out. Like that. This guy, we're going to control D to duplicate. And I think it's a bit uh, thick, if you will. So let's bring that in a bit. Okay. So control D to duplicate, W to move over. And of course, we need to adjust that. So let's bring that in to about here. Hit E, slightly rotate that inwards, like so. And then we're going to take uh, this guy, select our two rivets, go to mesh and uh, combine. We're going to move the pivot point a little bit to the back. So hit the insert key, move that to about here. So now if we hit E and rotate, we can slightly move that in. So it's connecting up a bit better. Pull it out just a little like this. And what we want here is to kind of make it sellable. So uh, let's see, I think that's all right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this guy. Let's go to mesh and separate. This guy needs to go to mesh and smooth, level two. All right, we'll take one of these. Control D to duplicate, W to push in. Let's go to modify and center pivot. Let's push that in. E to rotate, flip it around. W to move that in. All right, and we'll do the same here. Modify center pivot, control D to duplicate, W to pull in, E to rotate, hold on J, flip it around like so, W to bring that in, F to frame that. Okay. Now let's make sure this whole thing is one thing. Let's go to mesh and uh, combine, there you go. So from there, we're gonna take this guy and we are going to go up to uh, edit duplicate special option box, negative one on X and duplicate special, pull that out. And that should be a good fit.